What's up everybody? Today I want to talk to you about something that I see a lot of people fail to do while deadlifting. And it's actually probably the most important part of properly executing a deadlift. The deadlift gets a bad name from a lot of people. And most of these people who give it a bad name are usually doing it wrong. Just bend over and pick it up. Make sure you squat down really low and use as much leg drive as possible. While the deadlift might look like a simple movement, there's actually quite a bit that goes into correctly executing it. If you frequently injure your back while deadlifting, if you fail to maintain a neutral spine even when you're lifting less than maximal loads, or if you constantly experience debilitating lower back pain after you deadlift, chances are you are failing to do the most important step of correctly executing a deadlift. When deadlifting, you must understand how to load the hamstrings, engage the posterior chain, and hinge at the hips. Engaging the hamstrings and glutes during the deadlift is beneficial for a number of reasons. Here's a couple. The point of training should be to strengthen muscles and or increase their size. The deadlift is one of the best exercises for developing a strong posterior chain. If you are not engaging your hamstrings and your glutes while you deadlift, you are not developing them like you could be. You are completely missing out on the benefit of deadlifting. Hey dude, so why do you do deadlifts anyways? Uh, cause my program said so? To me, deadlifting and not getting any hamstring or glute work is like squatting and not getting any leg work. You're probably doing something wrong. If your glutes and hamstrings aren't doing any of the work, your lower back is forced to do it all. Learn how to engage your hamstrings and your glutes and you will notice that the weight will feel lighter because you have more prime movers doing their job. Your lower back will thank you. So, understanding that you need to engage the hamstrings while deadlifting is one thing. Actually knowing how to do it is another. I teach someone how to load the hamstrings by performing Romanian deadlifts. Start with the barbell at hip height. While maintaining a neutral spine, no need to over exaggerate and hyper extend, sit your hips back and slide the barbell down your thighs. This is what I mean by hinging at the hips. Allow a very slight bend in the knees, do not lock them out, Continue sitting the hips back and sliding the barbell down your body. Make sure you maintain a tight lower back. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. This is good. Go down as low as you can until you have reached the end of your hamstring flexibility. You'll know you are at this point when you feel your lower back start to flex over or round. Do not reach this point. If your lower back starts to round, you have gone too far. So, once you have reached the end of your hamstring flexibility and you feel the stretch in your hamstrings, you have now properly loaded the hamstrings. Reverse the movement by pulling with your hamstrings and snapping your hips through by squeezing your glutes together. Don't get this confused with just leaning back. Think hips through, not lean back. Pretend you were in prison and you were trying to send the message that you are not open for business. So, obviously you're not going to start deadlifting from the top down, so how do you load your hamstrings when the barbell is on the floor? I would suggest setting up to a barbell, bar directly over midfoot, and doing a Romanian deadlift down to the barbell. Keep the tension on your hamstrings. Pull, hips through. Now perform a controlled negative by performing a Romanian deadlift. Once the barbell passes the knees, set the barbell down over midfoot. Constantly keep tension on the hamstrings. 
Repeat. If you are still feeling your lower back round at the bottom, or it rounds as soon as you pull, you might have tight hamstrings or weak hamstrings. Your hamstring connects here and here. If they are tight, they will pull your pelvis into a posterior tilt, and your butt will tuck under you, making it difficult or impossible to maintain a neutral lumbar spine at the start of the deadlift position. To fix this, continue doing Romanian deadlifts. This is a great way to stretch the hamstrings. Do a few sets of 10 as a warm up. You should also static stretch the hamstrings, but make sure you force anterior pelvic tilt. Do not round forward and allow your butt to tuck under. That's what we are trying to avoid. You might also notice that your lower back rounds as soon as you pull and that could be caused by weak hamstrings. Your hamstrings might not be strong enough to support the load on the bar, and as soon as the bar comes off the ground, they run and hide. To fix this, I would suggest continue doing Romanian deadlifts. So to recap, learning how to load the hamstrings, engage the posterior chain, and hinge at the hips will ensure you are strengthening the right muscles, and it'll give your poor lower back some much needed help. So that's it guys, I hope that helps. Always remember, Dread on time.